This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Tonight I've got something cool to show you. I already showed you in a previous video the Count Chocula action figure. Well, today I got the Boo Berry action figure and I will be putting him on my desk at work tomorrow. So I thought I would show him off tonight. Um, I have not even opened this guy up yet. So we'll, we'll do a ghostly unboxing. <laughs> um, this is his, this is his box. Looks like the cool old school cereal boxes. So every Halloween season, I buy the monster cereal and I always cringe at the fucking ugly artwork they use for the boxes. I only really keep the boxes when they use this old school packaging. And I'm sure they've got sales figures that prove that people buy more when they have the old school artwork on it. I don't know why they always go with uh, some stupid new interpretation of a classic character. It's, it's obviously a bunch of old school people who are buying this stuff, the toys, the cereal, and you know, you want to, you want to tap into that bit of your childhood that you had with this stuff. You don't want to, you don't want to see Boo Berry as a hip hop DJ behind a turntable, you know? You don't want to see them drawn like really stupid graffiti art. You want to see this. This is what you fell in love with. This is, if you were a kid in the 70s or the 80s, this is the interpretation you grew up with. That's what you want to see. Oh, that's awesome. It's even got like one of the little masks. Okay, let's open this dude up. There's more tape on the sides. Very cool. So his little arms are articulated. Um, he's got a mini box of his own cereal. And I'm pretty sure the box of cereal glows in the dark also. We'll try it out in a second. He's got this little, basically a flight stand. Okay, let's 
let's, uh, let's try out his ectoplasmic glowing power. Let's hit him with the old flashlight. Let's charge him up. So I've been working on a couple videos, guys. I'm going to have some cool stuff to show you before Halloween. Um, I have a couple of new kaiju collectibles. Um, but, and I've got some new G.I. Joe figures. I've got some more science fiction stuff. But generally around October, around Halloween time, I tend to keep it to more or less monsters of European descent, you know? Because when I think of Halloween, I think of um, vampires and werewolves and ghosts and skeletons and, you know, basically monsters of European lore and um, myth and folklore um i don't know let me know if you guys want to see the kaiju stuff before halloween i mean you know kaiju are monsters it's just that i just didn't think you guys would want to see that stuff until after the big day all right let's try this out wow Dang, that glow's pretty bright. Hang on, let's juice them up a little bit more. That's cool. Glow's pretty bright. His body glows brighter than his head. Stick his little face right in the light. Oops. <laughs> Ooh. That glows pretty good. So I think Jaded Toys is doing an amazing job. You know, they came out of the gates swinging. And, um, you know, with their Universal Monster Toys, um, which were really cool and well-received. I am disappointed that they aren't going to make the mummy figure, though. I was sad when they said that they, they're not going to do that. Um, I did pick up like three of the creature from the Black Lagoon and I picked up, um, the Wolfman and Bride of Frankenstein. I liked all of those figures. Um, I was, like I said, I was sad to hear that they aren't going to make the mummy. Um, these cereal or, you know, these food icon toys are pretty damn cool. I never thought. <laughs> I would get an articulated booberry toy. You know, I'm old school. I like I like this old booberry and I just never thought I would see another toy um, of him. And so that's pretty cool. But yeah, Jada Toys is doing some amazing stuff. Their Street Fighter figures are really awesome too. Um, it's always cool when a company comes out of nowhere and, you know, Jada Toys was primarily known for like die cast vehicles, cars and shit like that. And then when they finally threw their hat into the action figure ring, they produced great stuff. So that's, that's always really cool. Like I said, uh, the Universal Monsters, these, um, what do you call it? These, these um, mascots of food are really cool. The Street Fighter figures are cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what else they come out with. 
anyway, that is a look at the new Glow in the Dark Booberry. He is available at Big Bad Toy Store. He's available on Amazon. I pre-ordered mine from Entertainment Earth. He's basically 20 bucks no matter where you go. Um, and he glows in the dark. If you're a monster kid, you gotta love glow in the dark. Out of all the monster cereals, I like the taste of Count Chocula the best. But out of all the mascots, I like I like Booberry the best. I think he's the coolest. Coolest looking mascot. All right, guys, I've got some cool stuff planned. I've got a bunch of new monsters to show you. You know what? I probably will just show the kaiju stuff um, before Halloween. I probably won't show you the G.I. Joe stuff until after Halloween, though, because that's, that's not very horrific. It's not very scary. I have a custom figure that I am about 95% done with that I can't wait to show you guys. It, it kicks ass, and uh, even, even I'm impressed with it. So I, I think you guys are going to like it a lot. All right, my friends, that, you know, there's not too much I can say about a little plastic ghost. And I hope you liked him. I like him. And tomorrow he will sit on my desk right next to Count Chocula, which uh, means I'm going to have to get Frankenberry next. I like him least of all, but... If you get those other two, you kind of have to get the third one, right? If Jada Toys is listening, hey, make Fruit Brute and Yummy Mummy next. I mean, you guys already made these three. Just pull the trigger and if you're not going to give me a Universal Monsters Mummy, at least give me a Yummy Mummy <laughs> and maybe we'll call it even. All right. Take it easy, guys. Happy Halloween.